Okay, Betty, we're here uh, right in the beginning of your treatment for, for MS, and you're having your stem cell treatments. Can you tell us a little bit about the history of your disease? I was diagnosed in 2000. Um, probably had it much longer than that. They really did not know what it was. Uh, it was an accident. I slipped and had a concussion, and when they did the MRI and CAT scan uh, in 2000, they discovered it. So that's how I was diagnosed. Okay, what kind of symptoms did you have back then? What were your first uh, symptoms? It's always been my right side. Mm -hmm. uh, have trouble balancing. Uh, some double vision. Uh, no stamina. Uh, very low tolerance to heat. Mm -hmm. uh, just, I mean, my right side really affects me. I, I cannot walk for long distances. Uh, my leg gets numb, I can't lift it, my foot will drop, I'll mm -hmm. trip. Mm -hmm. And is there any other, with your vision? Or it's just double vision, and, and mostly my left, when I look to the left. Okay, so the symptoms are pretty mild at this point. It doesn't affect your life too much. It's just that I have to pace myself, and, and I am a type A personality, and I can't do the things that I used to do. When you get when your leg gets numb, does it? It's just one leg. Yes, my right. Okay, and then does it hurt at all, or it just feels uncomfortable? I can't lift it. It feels like it's concrete. It weighs five hundred pounds. Okay. So, so, what do you hope to get from this treatment? Um, I'm hoping that it will help relieve some of the symptoms as far as my eyesight. Um, help me get back some of my stamina, it helps some of the numbness on my right side. Um, my right side feels different than my left side. Um, when I woke up, uh, it sounds silly, and if you haven't experienced this, you probably would not understand. Um, since my right side feels different than my left side, when I woke up I was doing this scratching with my fingernails mm -hmm. and always before I could go from left to right and by the time I got to the midsection to the right I couldn't feel this. Mm -hmm. Could not feel around my eye and my mm -hmm. face here. Mm -hmm. Now it feels the same. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when I go around like this it's just very strange. I can feel it. Okay. Is it full I, feeling or is it? Full feeling, yeah. Really? I mean, it's, it's very strange. I can feel my eye. That, that, that's the strangest thing right here. Excellent. And anything in, with your leg? Is it numb? Or? Um, after I exercise, it's still tiring. But the day after I had the stem cell therapy, Shaw and I walked four times longer than I did the day before. And how long is it? Okay, before we had gone just basically across the street, mm -hmm. uh, this time we walked around the whole entire block. Okay. So it was a pretty good distance. And have you walked since then? Uh, just going out to dinner and things like that. We went to SeaWorld. Uh -huh. Has it been feeling still that it's okay? Have I haven't uh, had as much problem. The only time it gets heavy and, and uh, numb like it did before is when I do too much.
treatments and compared to other MS you know people with MS in the states that we knew she was so much better off um, so you know we're I guess we're kind of strange in the fact that that is you know um, something that's not out of reach or something that we wouldn't look to do so when she said she's coming for treatment you thought that there might be some improvement there. yeah I, I went to the website and you know read you know some of the patient histories and improvements and things and so I really I had a positive outlook that she would get a lot of good results so then, when you came, did you? What did you notice? Um, was it what two weeks into the treatment? Three weeks. Two, yeah, about two, two and a half weeks. Uh -huh. um, her energy level, uh, her tone of voice. Mm -hmm. You know, the whole because she, you know, she felt she feels good. She can walk and doesn't feel as as tired. Um, is not tripping. You know, over her feet or balance and. Um, her eyesight, uh -huh. she felt like she was in a fog. You know, it wasn't that she's got good vision, but it was very cloudy. Her eye was traveling. And so you could see, you could see, you could see the difference, or you just how she felt. I could see the difference. I could see the difference. Um, like I said before, in her face, you know, uh -huh. it's like her, um, just the way she carried herself and her face and uh, balance and things like that. And did, did you see any difference with her eye twitching? She used to have eye twitching. It, her uh, her right is right eye. Right, right eye used to travel. Okay. And it was funny because my brother said the same thing. You know, Mom, your eye's not traveling. As soon as he got off the airplane, she's thinking, oh, God, it was so noticeable before. But, you know, but that's the first, it doesn't travel anymore. You just can't see it. And how, how, do you, how does it make you feel to see the change, you know, change your perspective on life or and just... Oh, it's just, well, I mean, it's like with Mom, I'm so close to it, you know, with Mom, it's like... She is her old self, you know. I have two little boys, and so they used to just wear her out, you know. And it's like, I can't wait till she gets back and she can really go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the kids. And, um, but the other patients, it's almost like she's 
you know, improved so much before I got here. And yeah. so it's like, oh, thank goodness. But watching everybody else, I think it's, you know, I'm fighting back tears yeah. because it's just so amazing and so heartfelt that, you know, people from all over the world are here, you yeah. know, doing the same thing. It's just amazing. And you've seen other people getting progress. I have seen, well, I've only been here three days, okay. but our, you know, he just got here, uh -huh. and JC had so much progress yeah. and everything. I told yeah. Mom, I said, I am just, um, I can't wait. I can't wait until he has his first treatment, you yeah. know. Um, Very good. But, yeah, it's just, it's fabulous. Okay, thanks. Well, and you've come here for occupational therapy, physical training every day? How many hours? Twice a day? For two, three hours? How many hours? About an hour each time. About an hour each time? Okay. And did you also do this kind of therapy at home before? I did acupuncture and I exercised at home. Okay. But nothing like the results. Okay. Okay. The balance and the eyesight was a big problem. Yeah, your eyesight's better now? Okay. I remember when I first spoke to you, your eyesight was a little... Yeah. I can feel. Yeah. have almost no double vision now. Okay. Any, any other improvements that you've noticed? The main thing I notice is the eyesight, the feeling on my right side, uh, more stamina. Okay. Have you seen any improvement since you first came, like since your first injection? You at the beginning, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, I was holding up like this, holding on to the rails. Okay. So your balance is much more balanced now. What about physically, like the strength? Do you, do you have more strength now? Is it? I have more stamina. We walk around the block in the morning. Okay. Uh, before I could walk because the heat would just devastate me. My leg would get stiff. I right. could lift. It. So yeah, I'd be different. Okay. But, and when I did the stairs originally, yeah. um, the doctor would have to stand behind me to catch me. Really? Because I couldn't get up and down the stairs. I feel almost normal, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I have no double vision. Mm -hmm. I can feel the right side of my body. My balance is a whole lot better. I have a lot more stamina because I've been shopping for hours <laughs> for the past three days, uh, which I could never have done before. Um, I feel really, really good, really good. I have no negative. Uh, from the experience at all. So how do you feel the uh, stem cell service people and uh, the hospital and nurse they and doctor? They were fabulous. Fabulous. Love the Chinese people. The nurses and the doctors are so nice. Um, we have lots of wonderful new friends from different countries. Uh, we have everyone's email address and we took a whole lot of pictures. Uh, so yeah, we're all going to keep up with each other to, to follow our progress. Okay. So it's been a great experience. Okay, thank you. So you just mentioned that uh, with normally MS patients cannot wear the shoes like that. Yes, they have to have a, a strap on the back to hold them on their foot um, it, because they just walk right out of the shoes. Because if that, I mean, that is if they have a problem with drop foot or their foot getting leg getting numb, they cannot wear these kinds of shoes. Okay. So. so now, you're that was interesting. <laughs> I can wear flip-flops again. <laughs> okay, thank you.